Frog, bro. Look at all these fuck, you get all these fucking. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just want to say welcome back to another premeditated uh, premeditated podcast. Today, <laughs> let me today, for a today we're gonna be talking about. Hold on, what's the topic? TikTok, Lion. Go Anything, ahead. Bro. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Literally. Lion. So, <laughs> TikTok. So, so your your for you page is based uh -huh. on of things that you watch, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you watch a bunch of sexy sluts, and I'm gonna say sluts. <laughs> that are like oh my god why aren't guys doing this why aren't guys doing this the best way to impress a girl is this that whatever the fucking case may be okay more of the story is uh -huh. they're just fucking thirst traps bro they're out here you know in barely anything yeah wearing, wearing right exactly <laughs> wearing, 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 wearing pretty much fucking toilet paper as as a fucking lingerie quote unquote and they're gonna be like, oh my god, why don't why don't guys love me or cherish me? Oh uh, bitch, look what the fuck you're wearing. And then they're <laughs> gonna turn off the only fucking guy who actually gives a fuck about you oh and go god. with these other fucking homies Damn. who are like, oh babe, go to my house and suck my dick. And they're gonna be with those people. Are, like, are you fucking kidding me, bro? Lion, who Lion, hurt you? I feel like Lion, you're who hurt you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just yo, bro. The, the only way I can express myself, I drink alcohol. This and is it's, it's such obviously... a dark turn of my... <laughs> listen, listen. Podcast. You could even ask Alec and Raven, like, the past two days, past three days, I was I was very quiet, right? I was super quiet. He, yes, he was. So right. that's what I'm that's what I'm off of alcohol, because you know, because I don't I don't speak at all. I'm very fucking dull. So what else is and on so your when mind? I get, when I get talking. alcohol in my system, it's like, okay. I have all this built up, not even aggression. I have all this built up shit that I have to say. Basically, just needs to get laid at this point. I really do, Ryan, but so not annoying. by a TikTok whore. He's basically a little child when he gets sugar. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You know, somebody, oh somebody gave me my fix, bro, and I'm ready to run around the block. Yeah. All right. All Except right. I'm not How's running. <laughs> I am not running because obviously I'm. You get, you're running around the block in a video game. Old, Rock and lazy, right? <laughs> Give me somebody lion, feed me fucking Doritos. Lion, lion, yo, lion, yo. Let me let me educate you on what. All right. Okay. Are you gonna educate me? Yeah, I'm gonna educate right, you. Hold, let me go. Can I grab a beer for this? Yeah, actually. No, 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 no. Right, I need, won't. You okay, need to go hear ahead. This straight. You need to hear okay, this straight. Okay, go ahead. Everything you just said is why women hate you. No, so, but no, 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 no. Okay. Listen, listen, I'll listen, listen. I'll let you talk. Chris, you're recording. So everything you just said, I'm putting it in the bin. Right, right. I, I did. I, I, I put it. Put I put it, it blast. Put it in the bin. Right, right. I put it blast. Okay. I did. Stop watching TikToks, and actually go talk to a real life woman. No, but but it. No 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 no. Go <laughs> out. Get the fuck out. You're not helping. Oh, that <laughs> line doesn't talk to women in real life. Yo, I'm one step ahead of him. Touch the fucking ground. <laughs> Touch the ground. <laughs> Dude, go outside. Touch the ground. <laughs> Go to a I, fucking bar. I, find I, a woman. No, see, that's please. the problem. No, that's the issue. No, no, please. Go find a woman. I can't take <laughs> it anymore. I should have grabbed the beer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not saying about I'm not saying about meeting girls. Meeting girls is fine, right? Meeting girls is awesome, right? I'm just saying that, you that, should get laid. Are you nice for like a well, couple of weeks? Well that's that's great too, but like getting laid and, and well, that's perfect. That's awesome. I'm just saying, uh, like, if you're on a social media platform, right, and you're and you're like sitting here flaunting your shit, right? Not saying you are personally, um, but if, if females, if females are flaunting their shit, right, about like the perfect guy, quote unquote, right, and when that perfect guy, quote unquote, approaches them. They're gonna be like, oh yeah, my like, god, no! Guys my who god, usually say they're no. good guys are normally not good guys. No, obviously. I mean, there's a bunch of douchebags out here. I'm yeah. myself included. What's up? <laughs> but if you're gonna go around and pretend to be somebody you're not on a social media platform where everybody could see it, right? Wait, everybody does not to be someone that they're not. And that's social media, and that's and that's the false pretense that that people have nowadays is like you have to be slutty in order to get a good guy or you have to be a good guy to get a slutty bitch whatever the it's, case it's, may it's, be it's just that they're pretending to be somebody they're not it's not even just when, girls though it's also guys guys, that's what I'm, saying. guys I'm, I'm, I'm not also... i'm not strictly putting this on the guys because or girls you know it's it both, both parties ways. both both parties yeah. it's well yeah it's both parties it's a stop sign you know what i'm saying and the other yeah 
it's 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 everybody. I don't care if you identify as a fucking speed bump. You know, <laughs> it's it's everything nowadays, right? It's like you're you're literally pretending to be something you're not. Somebody you're not to be somebody notice. who you think you could be. Somebody huh? to to get them to notice you. And it's yeah. it's just it's so it's so sad to see it. Right? I mean, for Astro, he's what? What are you? 13, 14? He's, right. like, 15. he's like seven. 15. Okay. 15, 16, and Feb. Okay, that's awesome. I mean, just saying, like, for, for older people, like, the, you just the mean rest fake of people us. in general, because you could just yeah. sum that with one sentence. I hate fake people. There you go. So it's yeah, like, people in general. For, for, it's for, older, for older people, it's like, why do that to yourself and, like, put off this false pretense that you're. It's like people who are you're chameleon. better. You're better than somebody else by doing this, or you're trying to attract somebody. But in the long term, you're not trying to attract that guy. You're just trying to attract attention. It's like you're not looking for love. Obviously, you're just looking for attention. You're looking for likes on your Instagram, which is just like that's cool and all. But you know, you literally broke this guy or girl's heart by saying this and that. It's like what? The, what? What are you doing? Mm -hmm. What? Do you, why? Mm -hmm. Agreed. That's my rant. Yeah. I am done. All right, go get your beer. You're done. <laughs> I I am. I I got like two more sips, but <laughs> but that's what I'm saying though. It's like you know, you see these social media posts. Like I'm gonna rant some more oh until I'm done. <laughs> until I'm done with the beer. <laughs> Let me finish the fucking beer. This is a All very right. heavy podcast for a stay. <laughs> we didn't even start yet. This is fucking prelims, right? This <laughs> the is like before podcast. the UFC main card. <laughs> Let's go back to deep thoughts with Chris. Before and the UFC main Lion. card, bro. Let me hear me out. Seriously, like, oh, maybe I should go grab that beer. Yeah. Go, get your beer. Cool go get your beer. We'll talk about something while you're gone. <laughs> the issue is, the issue is, though. Listen, listen, bitch, bitches. You, you know I'm right, though, right? You know I'm right. I know nothing. Thank you, thank you. I, I don't know if anyone's right. right. Honestly, it's the internet. It is the internet. That's why you can't believe it. Yeah. All right. Well, while Lion yeah, yeah. is going getting his beer. Let's talk about. Uh, Are you really streaming? Are we actually podcasting? Yeah, I'm dude, recording I'm, right now, bro. It's a good. I will. I will. Wow. I will we're, fuck we're, these worlds we're, up. We're, actually, we're, we're, <laughs> all right. So here's a very, very topical question <laughs> that's still going around to this day. Negative. You ready? Negative. So pineapple on pizza. How do you guys feel about that? Don't like pineapple. Damn. Eat whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> okay. That's it. If it doesn't hurt, if it doesn't hurt me, you can eat it. Okay, Raven. How do you feel about that? Huh? Pineapple. Unless it's pizza. like human, of course, don't eat. Human. Like just pineapple yeah. on pizza, or like just yeah, just, pineapple on pizza. I eat I just, it, but it's not my preference. Not your preference? I just don't. I just don't like pineapple. You don't like pineapple? Is there a reason why? Oh, I think I tried it. I just remember not liking it. Mm, fair. Lion, how? Oh, he's not here. <laughs> Wait, are you actually recording? Or are you just yeah? No, on? I'm actually recording. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna add, are you gonna be able to edit all this shit out yes, later? Yes, <laughs> yes, I will be. All right. So like, I personally don't mind pineapple on pizza. I like pineapple on pizza. I'll eat it if it's there. I like barbecued pineapple. Oh, with cinnamon around stop! It. Oh, I just drooled on my shorts. That sounds so good. <laughs> you know, side note, because I this is not podcast related. Babe, Raven, my mom was wondering. Would you be fine for staying for a few months if you were given the chance? <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, because she also gave me, the, she was given the idea to like me keep it for you staying as an open ended ticket. So basically buy a one way and you could go back whenever. <laughs> oh, okay. That's pretty dope. Well, she was looking at ticket prices right now. So you could come by in December and leave, well, April for 500 ish bucks. <laughs> Damn. Basically, do you want that? <laughs> I'd have to rent it by my mom. Exactly. That's why I kind of thought. Is um, can... they go to Ireland in April, so I gotta be <laughs> here to look after the dogs. Hmm. She just wants the dogs. That, all, that also makes sense. Basically, <laughs> also my mom was just asking. Uh, just asking, is there any days that you just can't come? Just um. The start of December, I think it's the 4th and the 5th, I can't come. Mm -hmm. And then April when they go to Ireland, but other than that, I'm free. Okay, so because my, my mom was thinking you could come 
December 11th until you said the start of April? Yeah. Could probably work around that. You just have to swing it by your mom to find out if that's okay. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, staying for about three months ish, four months ish. Damn. 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 I'm coming over. You're going to come over? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. All right. Oh, I heard that. Yeah, you heard it. All right. All He's right, back. All right. Welcome back. It's not nine thirty. It's not nine thirty. We can't officially initiate the podcast. But we but like it was getting heated, and it was a really good question. It was getting heated, but you could use that as like some kind of like back spoiler. Like, oh, listen, this fucking guy is crazy. Even though we already know. <laughs> did you finish the arcade wins? Yes. Babe, or... <laughs> I don't Jesus. remember if you did. Thank you, sweetheart. I love you too. Right. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> You called me babe, bro. I'm you know what? <laughs> you know who the fuck I'm talking to. Babe, I'm I got like, you. So you can't call me babe. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Have I called Lord, you? What the fuck is that? Oh my god. Have I called you anything call other than me. lying? Hey, why can't you call me babe too, Alec? What the fuck? Right? Bro, what the fuck? At least call me baby. Damn. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, th that position is taken by me. Oh, fuck, fine, I'll be wifey. I don't know. I mean, I, I feel like I was the first to answer, so you might be on the back. Right? <laughs> I mean, I even, though he, even, even though he went to see you, yeah. he was, like, clearly here. Thinking about lying. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's gonna, not make I'm things awkward. I'm not going to reply back with anything. I just kind of... Let's not make things awkward, okay? If when yeah, he says no. babe, we'll just both answer, okay? To be you mean all three of us? Because I'll answer too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that works too. Actually, you can't. Uh, unfortunately, you're underage. Yes, yeah. that'd, be, that'd, be, that'd be weird. But if he says, like, uh, hey, son, you'd be like, yeah, dad. You know, <laughs> Why does it have to be the high pitched voice? <laughs> no. I don't know. Well, what the fuck is an I don't know. <laughs> When I say kid, you picture like a like a high pitched like kid. Yeah, right? I picture he someone around has... my brother's age, so he, around seven. He has a same voice as you. Do I have to stay here with them? You don't have to, no. But it'd be preferred if you did. I got the donut charm. It's so cute. Yeah, babe. <laughs> you see what I did there? Because did, I did don't. you just try to sound like Alec? <laughs> no, negative. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Alec is a sweet human being. I'm just an asshole. Alec is a sweetheart. Yeah, you are. Asshole, no. fuck off. No. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry Why? about it. Don't worry about sweetheart. I'm Australian. <laughs> I can I can agree, okay? Oh, I'm only gonna let you agree because I'm being recorded and if I say something stupid, you know, well, then I get a bunch he's of gonna, I mean, He's gonna have to edit a bunch out. Yeah, so <laughs> Fuck off, bitch. <clears throat> we got some questions for Destiny. Wow, you fucking cut. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Do not talk to your mother that way. Now, come here and kiss me on the lips. <laughs> what? <laughs> Super awkward. <laughs> hey, yo, what? <laughs> anyway, back to another episode of Premedicated Podcast. Premedicated? <laughs> you, uh, shut the fuck up, Raspberry Queen. Fuck um, off, you little bitch. <laughs> Dude, I can't be serious, bro. Or, uh, uh, hold on. Let me get my manly voice. Uh, Welcome back to another episode of... Uh, <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So, there was... There... So we, uh, what? Spit it out, boy. Come on. <laughs> I can't help it. Somebody give him the Heimlich. Uh, all right, all right so hit or, hit or miss. Hit or miss. Scourge of the past miss. and crown of sorrow. How do you guys feel? One more time. Say it again. Scourge of the past or crown of sorrow. This is a Destiny 2 question. Hit or Miss. Miss. Hit or miss. Hit never, and played miss. never played him. In that order. Two. Mm. Uh -huh. Actually, no. Hit for both. He went from, <laughs> he went from <laughs> Mr. Hit. <laughs> yep. All right. Yeah. Well, let's, let's just... Let's crown's just the only right of All right. Of scourge. Is it ACP or cap? I fucking hate your guts right now, bro. <laughs> it's CAP. Hey, bro, it's CAP. No, no, no. Hey. It's CAP. It's, it's PCA. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's just, PCA is just ACP backwards. Yeah. <laughs> what it? No, YMCA? it's PAC. It's PAC. YMCA, bro. We're gonna go with that one. <laughs> bro, yeah. how how like like the community was all on fucking like they were on something when everyone was trying to say what's right. Man, it was so funny. All right, so so let's 
All right, so are you actually recording? Yeah, I've, I've been recording the whole time, guy. Damn. That's that's fucking awesome. Shut the fuck up. What? Huh? So, <laughs> shut, up. <laughs> shut, shut up. So, since we all play Destiny here, right? Wait, we play no, Destiny? No, I don't. I'm not sure. Most, most of you young lads play Destiny. Uh-huh. What do you think no. of the new current meta that is going on in the Crucible? right now i uh, haven't played crucible since 2017 I'm gonna need a beer all right this so one. we're gonna we're gonna disclaim this child here what's the current matter the current everything <laughs> Actually, just the everything actually, matter right now Listen, since, okay so right now i was reading i was reading um tweets and shit he reads look at Apparent, that fuck off you little <laughs> shit <laughs> i love you bro i was reading <laughs> tweets right and people were saying oh, that he tweets i'm gonna lie in <laughs> Like, any oh, raid. So, like any raid oh, birds. Oh. Anyway. So on Twitter, people were saying that the rangefinder is supposed to get nerfed, but it didn't. Oh, and the sidearms got, we get snuff next got, that. got buffed. So now, it's apparently really fucking god tier if you're using sidearms. Specifically with rangefinder. Apparently you can map people with it right now. So, so Okay, so traveler, not travelers, yes, travelers chosen damaged. Got it. Well, I saw his rangefinder is just removing the aim assist out buff of it. That's all it's doing. Yeah, but but right now with with it not like nerfed, it's it like, hasn't done it yet. It's apparently god tier right now. I I haven't been so... on Crucible and seeing all the meta, but that's one of the things that's been going on. I have. I just killed the soldier seventy six who followed me from spawn, and I just t packed him. Nothing to do with destiny. <laughs> but I have been into sorry, I have been into Crucible today, right? And there is no meta. There is no weapon that you should use. It's it's literally a free for all. Like people mm. don't know what really to did do. not like me. Have you been solo queuing in uh, in trials? No, just in. Oh no! In, yeah, so, so I went into control by myself, and then I picked up on Dory. But the first match that I played <laughs> by myself solo was literally nothing but you have half the team sitting in the back with bolt rifles and then the other half running up on you so there's no in between of like now do you think is that because of skill based matchmaking That's no it's not skill based cuz cuz i i had a really good time playing you know skill based matchmaking this whole season right this whole season i've went in there with hard light you know fucked around you know Pull off 8.0s, 9.0s, you know that you were with me a couple times. Um, you say numerical but, times. <laughs> but today, listen, today, it was like something, it was different. That's what it was, different, all right? So there's no, there's no like, you can't walk in there with a hard light. You can't walk in there with a palindrome. You need What's something right? either long-ranged or you need, or you need a shotgun because there's going to be people at the back of the map, or there's going to be people in your face. There's no in between, and that's how it's been all day today. Because I played a match by myself, like I said, I played a match with Andori, and it was just like it's it's one of the two. Either you need a long range weapon, or you need something up close in their face. There's no in between. There's no there's no more hand cannon meta. That's that's thrown out the window. If you have a hand cannon, you're going to lose. No matter if you're on controller or on keyboard. You have Ace of Spades, you have Palindrome. It doesn't matter. Okay, Touch of Malice got it. Touch Thanks. of Malice really smacks. But the meta right now is so broken that you're forcing these big streamers to literally go play Overwatch. <laughs> they don't, they don't want to play. They don't want to play. Huh. Okay. Well, I wouldn't want to play PvP either. No, it's 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 literally it's it's a dangerous territory. So, like at, at at the state that it's at right now, you're gonna get all these big streamers that are gonna play trials, and that's it. And they're gonna go play other games, not because other games are coming out, you know, which is cool. You know, I I obviously would rather play other games anyway. But you have all these big streamers wanting to play other games because right now the sandbox is completely garbage. Uh, I think we played with Raven too. There's um. Adding on to the what? meta, that chess piece that the hunters are got 
that got disabled. What was it called? Grif Grif Falcon. Gr Girl Falcon. Girl Falcon. Yeah, it's enabled something. again, and apparently, Wish yep. Editor and that count and that chess play together is just god tier. Like, have you guys actually seen it at all, or no? If you, it also it gets better if you combine it with a Scythe and uh, Titan, because that technically counts as piercing through an object. So yeah. You, guys, you get more damage. Have you guys seen any of those in Crucible? Apparently, it's like running rampant I again. I haven't. I haven't seen a bunch of hunters. I saw a bunch of titans and warlocks, and the warlocks that I've seen were rocking monarch, and they were just literally just kind of like flea flickering in the back. <laughs> flickering, flickering like a light switch. <laughs> flea flickering is a football term, but they were like literally flea flick flickering in the back, like so. The, the warlock would hit you in the back with a monarch, and his boy or teammate, when you know, whatever, would come up and like literally just punch you because you were already three quarters of the way dead with the monarch. Mm -hmm. So that's how Crucible is right now. Jeez. So if you need okay. Crucible challenges or whatever, dude, I'd, I'd probably wait a little bit. Unless what you're God tier. Even if you're God tier, I'd probably go play a different game. Pace Bond. Oh wow, there's only two sidearms that can roll with Rangefinder. Alright, so I have four years. Yeah, what when's the next Iron Banner? No. Um, anyways. On the topic of like soon? Sandbox changes and stuff. Sandbox changes. Uh, how do you feel about hunters always getting fucked? with nerfs now is this coming from a hunter main or somebody who plays all three characters somebody who's kept playing all three characters that that I had like a... getting butted what's up i've been playing titan recently so how does that make you feel i hate titans first of all <laughs> i hate i hate titans too and I'm playing Titan instead of that's, Hunter. Yeah, that's all I gotta say about it. I hate Titans. Hate Titans. But I just hate Titans. Oh, just 76. It really does not like me. He's always on my ass. <laughs> like, I feel like Titans are so cheap with their one punch melee. Mm -hmm. I don't use that, so don't worry. We good. I'm saying sure it's possible, right? You got a one punch melee. Yeah. They, they I mean, yeah, Thunderclap. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not only that, but you could shoulder charge too. Yeah, shoulder and charge. That'll, that'll shoulder charge got nerfed. Yeah, but it's still a one. It's still a one-hit melee. Especially it if is. you have the right. It uh, is. I thought it was kind of going graves only. Like, yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't matter what you. You could use fucking the sons of God. It, I don't care. Oh, I it's that. still a one-punch melee or one-hit melee. Oh. Yeah. So, I mean, if if you're a titan and your main goal is to run around the map the like, a, like a chicken with her head cut off, just like running around shoulder charging people, I feel like that should be something that should be addressed. Guys, if you guys don't know. Uh, not saying Warlock. Raven and Alec are playing Warlock, Overwatch while we're talking about this. Podcast, you know, they so. have they have range when they hit. Right back a sec. Agreed. Warlocks are busted. They go fucking <laughs> what is it? Uh fucking I can't even think of it. That heat rises. They got fucking everything to make them just evade everything. No, for sure. I mean, they're they're really good at evading. Are you walking away from your mic? Yes. <laughs> he, he just <laughs> he just stopped talking. <laughs> <laughs> All her, no, yeah, his for mic sure. Just they're died. really just. That's no, his mic just died. <laughs> his mic died. Okay. Yeah, it's totally um, a wireless mic. We're gonna change the topic. We're still on the Destiny topic, but what is your favorite favorite exotic? Both one uh, Destiny one and two. Oh, favorite exotic in day one. Ooh. No, but like overall, overall. Two? Like, overall. Oh, shit. I don't know that. Yo, That's okay. a lot of weapons to go through. Okay, Raven, what is and your armor. exotic? Oh, um. Uh, racking? Racking? Why? Racking. Why racking? Because I like rats. Okay. I, and I like side arms yeah. and I like the fact that it makes you invisible. And when you got the Kyla's done, it makes your health go back. So you pew, 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 pew. And then get your health back and then you go and kill, kill. And it's fun. <laughs> okay. Yes, I, ag I agree. <laughs> what topic? But... We're on the topic of your favorite, favorite exotic, exotic weapon. Favorite exotic weapon. 
I also like crimson because it goes pew 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 pew. But then you get your health back after a kill, and then you go. Pew, 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 pew. Ooh, ooh. Okay, <laughs> yeah, so I have, I have two favorite weapons, and it's ones in D one, ones in D two. Okay. So pocket infinity to oh Lesto. Oh my god, pocket infinity. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at and all Telesto. days. The good old days. I love it. D one. I really liked Hulk move. Hulk move like, was pow, good. Pow. Yeah. Hulk move was good. Hulk yeah, was great. Yeah. Okay, Lion, now, how about you? This... What about your favorite exotic weapon? Mine? Yeah. Oh, uh, I don't think I have last word. I'd go with last word. Last word, yeah. But I'm gonna but but that brings me to my like next subject of, of things to be discussed. Yeah. Well, I still gotta talk about my fucking favorite exotic that I wish they could finally bring back to two, uh D two, which I don't think they will, but you know, here's hoping. Fucking no land, bro. No land. Oh my oh, god. No, they would have to god. they would have to they would have to Sadly, they'd have to change everything for them to bring it back. I don't think that they should. What I'm a wise at least. Do is they should just put it in the special category, get two shots right off the bat, and that's it. Yeah, that's just all I gotta do. That's same thing with shotguns. No, you, you, no they you put it in primary, but it's the only weapon that has primary ammo that nah, it can that, drop on the floor. That would that would break it. That would that would break it. No, that would break it. Put it put it in your your kinetic slot, but make it so it's energy efficient so if you kill somebody pick up that guy's ammo or that girl's ammo you got another shot that's how they should do it mm -hmm. i really miss it though like it was it was such a good sniper Dude, it was it was bomb bro it was bomb ass love. for sure was, yeah. nah bring back um what's it called icebreaker obviously. icebreaker was also a good one but it'd be broken i feel like no land could could definitely take out icebreaker in heartbeat Oh, oh yeah, especially with infinite yeah. ammo if, now. If there were there were times where we were, where I was in a trials match with my sister, and my brother in law, and we're playing back in D one, and No Land literally saved me from just like you know res killing. It's like you yeah. res that guy, he's dead because my No Land is right there on his face. Won the match. Rage like so they should bring back from D one. Bolt caster, raised letter, dark drinker. They they technically brought it. Back. I mean, yes, in legendary form. Yeah, which I don't, right. I don't think they'll. So, uh, so, so, anyways. what do we think about? Let's get off that topic. What do we think about controllers versus mouse and keyboard? Dude, don't start this oh argument. Oh my god, it's not an argument. I, I just want to. I, you I see, want players to have this thing about them that they feel like they're the better than everybody else. I don't so think when I'm a person than that on all. controller. Finally kills them. They're like, oh, it's your own assist. Not the fact the mouse and keyboard universally is better than controller in every way. Aim assist is just to help that controller player against a PC player. Yeah, but the PC player okay, doesn't he, have aim assist. Here's here's my personal here's, opinion. Here's a, there is here's there the is thing, a. Use your mouse and keyboard on a console, like some certain person we knew, yeah, yeah. and see how you trump them in console. No, for sure, for sure. The same something I'm trying to like, you know, get under anybody's. Uh, but I switched aim assist off, and no, I've had just, aim assist off on Overwatch, and just, I don't notice jack shit. I only notice it on Overwatch a little, but then again, I'm going against PC players. No, for sure. And the question wasn't pinpointed towards you. No, obviously. but as a controller user, it's a fucking annoying to hear constantly. No, I, I get it for sure. I get it for sure. Each, um, so each, each game I... has has a different type of feel for both. M and K and exactly. controller. It's always different for every game. It's not always going to be the same. No, absolutely. So absolutely. for Destiny, and it is kind of annoying. But in Call of Duty, it's also like fucking stupid how good the controller is because you can aim through the wall. The controller on, on and it will track through the Call wall on that is, person. Is, is, is I'm back. Ridiculous, bro. For yeah. sure. So like each game is you different. Also, got realized people with low KD, they need that little help. Yeah. No, I have so no just to, no, get, just to get rid of it entirely. You're kind of shitting on people who need. I just, I, I literally just wanted to hear people's like point of view on like. I know, but it's really annoying because TikTok should just get insane about it. No, yeah, okay, TikTok, let's TikTok. let's just remove TikTok, TikTok out of the equation. This is us talking about it as yeah. like a friend. So, right. Honestly, For I see talking. it as an accessibility point of view because no, obviously. So so we got your answer, and that's that's what we want to hear. We're not we're not here pinpointing, you know, who's controller, whatever, garbage. Unless you're Alec, you're shit. If you use a controller, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> like, obviously, so so people that that do use controller, you feel an advantage over people who uses mouse and keyboard, right? Because you get that aim assist, you get that plus whatever it is, right? Oh. So 
how does that how does that affect the gameplay of of playing in a PvP standpoint? That that's what I want to know. Like not like use controller, cool, that's awesome. I use mouse keyboard, you know. I use fucking a Game Boy Advance, whatever. What I just want to know how it how it was. Like how how did that impact you, or how did that impact the person playing the game? Help you out. You know what I'm saying? Oh, fuck. Oh, was that Seb? Was that? Yeah. Uh, he went to my office. Okay. <laughs> you, can, you can drag him here. It's fine. We're just doing a podcast. Hello. Hey, welcome to the podcast. Oh, you're doing the podcast. Oh. You're welcome. He's we're not, in, bro. It's all good. He's. We're just. And I'm. <clears throat> don't worry. I'll be leaving in like 20 minutes, Michael. Don't worry. Yeah, no, that's fine. I mean. So, welcome to the podcast. We're on a topic of how do you feel about controller versus mouse, mouse and keyboard? Oh, okay. Um, do you want me to game go? game depending game G- depending game depending. Okay. Um, I honestly I, I don't think there's really too much of an issue if you choose either. Okay. You know, on, if you're on console, obviously controller is better because there's aim assist. Um, on PC, I feel like a lot of games it, it's not beneficial to be on controller just because you have a longer range with mouse and keyboard. Mm-hmm. Uh, you could be a little bit more precise with mouse. Got it. Got it. Okay. Um, nice. Fighting games, I think controller is way better though. Oh, like just oh, across the board. Indefinitely, bro, for sure. Like, yeah, like there's there's no way I could ever use a keyboard on a fighting game. <laughs> and like, driving games. Oh, uh, and driving games. Except GTA for me. Except GTA. I'm better at just, MK yeah. driving. Yeah, MK yeah. GTA is, is great. Shut up, Lion. You fucking I love shit. that shit, dude. I love watching Chris fucking crash in the walls. Uh, you're the one that fucking got me killed. We have a speaking, you know what? Speaking of fucking Listen, GTA, bro, we gotta finish fall, that, honey. <laughs> <laughs> you're. Yeah, nothing against anybody. Who's yeah, so, so I don't have anything yeah, against I mean, it. Every game is different when it comes to. I don't need it. it a lot. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I first talk shit as a joke. A controller. Yeah, and that's fine. And then I got lazy and didn't want to plug in my controller anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's usually that's how it I ends up. <laughs> okay, well, since we're still on the topic like, of it, controller and MK, what games do you guys. What, what, what mode are we playing now? Like? Controller Mayhem. I thought it would be fine as long as we didn't get the what to call it, but. We got Zarya's everywhere. <laughs> Anyways, like what what <laughs> games do you play that you would use a controller mostly? Like what games would you do? Dark Soul oh, games. Dark Souls. Forza, oh, Dark Souls, yeah. Street Fighter style games. Like like games you're playing right now. I mean, like you guys. Destiny. Okay. You use a controller for Destiny? <laughs> Only for PvP. <laughs> Only for, for PvP. PvP. Really? No, we gotta no. use it for PvE so we can get the aim assist on his head. <laughs> <laughs> Which works though. Which works because normally, you know, when we when we play PvP and Destiny, right? Yeah. Well, I'm normally, sorry, I'm, I'm gonna go do a raid. Take care, guys. And uh, bye. Raz, he's normally the backup. Uh, bye, asshole, Astro. Um, so <coughs> so it works that that uh, game for uses controller. Mm-hmm. Yep. It definitely comes with clutch. Pretty sure Ash and everything go anyway. Huh. Um. I don't know if you guys ever played Risk of Rain. Oh, I love yes. that game. I like yes. using yes. controller, controller no. on that game. Really? No controller. Yeah. No controller. Net. Wait, why? I never... my controller does not like Risk of Rain. Huh. Really? So, but why? It's why? Crazy. Why do you use controller on it? Because I've never personally tried it, so I want to know what it's like. Uh, I found out I couldn't jump on controller. I had to use mouse and keyboard to jump. Oh, interesting. Huh. I, I like it. I think I only like it because. Uh, it's just I don't know shooter games. I feel are just a little more comfortable on controller, so, depending depending on the game. Like, have you grew up? Like with Call of Duty, I don't mind keyboard and mouse only because my mouse has buttons on it. Well, only so because, like, like the other people are probably cheating. That too. I mean, yeah. I mean, really be too, too careful. Um, on. Henry Skarin just kind of it's uh, there's a lot of AOE stuff you can do. So you don't really have to worry really about being mad. too precise. It's just like FPS on crack. Exactly. So you don't really have to worry about aiming too much. You know, it's just kind of like this, do what you want. <laughs> like fair. Oh, there he is. Fair. Fair. Okay. Well, since Liam brought it up, how do you guys feel about not... cheating in video games? 
Your mom well, should have followed you. Why are you even cheating in the first place? Like, yeah. Dude, why are you gonna, cheating? I'm going to definitely agree with this swallowing aspect. If it's a single player game, go for it. It doesn't affect anybody, you know. Now, what about what about do what, you what about cheating in non esports games? You Destiny, you mean Destiny? <laughs> That's what I mean. I mean, yo, cheating in non esports <laughs> games, and like, it happened. We've caught people before cheating in non esports games. How did you know? Just like, if you're cheating in an online game, making everyone's life like not life, but like experience worse. Like, you're just why? Yeah. Go touch grass, you know? Like just <laughs> Yeah, honestly. Like so yeah, like you okay. said, so um if you're playing a single player game and you just want to cheat and mod and whatever, go for it, bro. It's like it's all it's your gameplay, right? You're, it's your your save file, you're just vibing alone, having fun. Go for it. Go put titties no. on your different, character. Though, I feel. Yeah, oh, I guess mods are kinda different. But you can get mods that like help you cheat. Like Yeah, not all mods are well, now they sell like they sell like controllers yeah, with like now. those packs that you could you know, <clears throat> cheat with. Yeah, cheating. I, mean, I, I don't know. Cheating on part? an online game when you're trying to win because you think you're all shit and you know you're all yeah. top. The skill shit. problem. It's, it's, yeah, it's <laughs> the a skill issue. Like, come on. Skill issue. I mean, if you're not a part of an organization that's like literally com- competing for tens and thousands of dollars, and you just like you know you come home from work, you want to you want to kick it with your friends. And you want to just, you know, jump in, chew some faces off. And you got to, you know, go against somebody who's literally using, like... Flying around with a... Some kind of... Whisper of the worm with rockets coming out of it or some shit. Yeah. (laughs) Some stupid. Pretty sure pure went against that. You know, you had a hard day at work and you're facing, you know, this guy. And it's like, are you kidding me? So the last thing you want to do is, like, face somebody who's going to be in a position where they're going to have the upper hand because you're using something that's not standard to the game. Mm Mm-hmm. Agreed. Yeah. Like, can you just imagine going into a trials match and then seeing some guy flying in the air with I just stood behind five billion wall. rockets <laughs> shooting out of a Galhorn? <laughs> fucking... right, that'd be that'd be nutty, bro. Like I seen a clip, I think it was like ZK and Frost, they were doing a trials carry and these guys had like I, I, I don't know what it was. I think it was sleeper and the guys were just shooting it like a whole laser and it was just flying everywhere. It's a whole just get the upper hand for what? Yeah, for to get the upper hand to to reach <clears throat> legend that much quicker, or like, like wh- what are you proving when you do that? Mm-hmm. Like you're not, you're literally not benefiting from this at all. That sucks. Cheating sucks at all by any means. Yup, 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 yup. Now, right. Enough topics about cheating in video games. What games are you guys currently playing right now? Overwatch. Ah, Overwatch. Why did, why did I ask <laughs> you? <laughs> <laughs> Just Overwatch. Okay, but. How do you feel about Overwatch 2? Has anything changed? I know I play it, but like I want to know what you guys feel about it. Uh, to be honest, I think 5v5 does feel better. 5v5 feels better? <laughs> yeah, I why? would have to agree. Yeah, why is that? It's just... Especially playing with the like the roles that you're forced to play, like the one tank, two DPS, and two healers. It's just... Dealing with one tank rather than like a whole team of tanks, because uh-huh. I played against that tank meta with three tanks, it's just... All right, it's hearts boring. on the payload <laughs> with a bastion sitting behind them. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Uh, I think that it just feels a little different than Overwatch One. I don't know why. I don't know if they actually changed anything. It just feels a little. I would say a little better. Like it, it used to get me like really annoyed to play Overwatch One towards the end. Mm-hmm. And uh, even, like, if I, like, took a long break, I'd come back, I'd just be like, I don't want to do this, you know? It, it pissed me off. But this one, i die, and I, I still get a little frustrated, but it's not to the extent that I... W- maybe because I didn't pay for it. Maybe <laughs> maybe because it was free. <laughs> so, you know, okay, I'll Definitely deal with it. The free free. Game, you know? I guess but, the only uh, thing about Overwatch 2 is just the cosmetics, and everything is worth so expensive. Oh, it's, yeah, way more expensive. I'd rather have loot boxes, honestly. Yeah, I, I miss the loot boxes. <clears throat> Yeah, and they stole some of my skins. It kind of pissed me off because I had a lot of skins. Some of them were just didn't show up in the whole transfer thing. Wait, really? Yeah, your... like my. Uh, I think it was the only the skins that are part of the Watchpoint pack. They just got rid of it. Whoever owned it. Yeah, because oh. my uh, what is it, seventy six? Like 
You know, like Young, the young 76, one. the young one. Blackwatch. Uh, uh, that's, that's Yeah, Commander Morrison, yeah. Yeah, Commander Morrison, that's what it is. Uh, but Nor. No, is it Nor? Noir, yeah. Yeah. Widow. Uh, Nor Widow. Oh, I think Black oh yeah, that was a good skin. Yeah, I think they got rid of those. Why? Well, because they made that part of the watch point pack, I think, and they somehow, I guess it glitched. I would guess it on their behalf, it glitched out and just got rid of it if you owned it without owning that watch point pack. Oh, that would be my guess, up, but. Oh, well. Okay. So, what, what other games are you guys excited for this year? There's a lot coming out. Mm. Everyone's excited for Marvel for 2. Uh, yeah, Marvel for 2. That's yeah. what I've been waiting for. Is, 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 uh, is everyone going to be like vibing on it like is this is premeditated oh, gonna sure. hop on cod for and just sure. make videos i'm gonna be on it that's probably the only game i'm All gonna right. be playing for so, a while lion you're in charge of making that clan thing whatever it's gonna be called or whatever okay sure yeah you, yeah. you better do yeah. it gotcha because <clears throat> like i mean i, I want to I make videos i want to like I don't want to make Call of Duty like my tryhard. I'm gonna get like 5.7 KD shit. I want to. I'm gonna be like Nadia, bro. I want to do straight, some straight stupid VPN, ass bro. videos with you guys, like me fucking straight VPN hiding in a fucking corner and ninja diffusing and searching a shrine. <laughs> the good old Call of <laughs> Duty days. Yo, it's bro. gotta be hardcore searching. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you get shot once you're dead. There's gonna be some times where I record like us being sweaty as fuck, of course, because like why not? It's oh Call my god. <clears throat> but like I wanna do some funny ass shit like place claymores stacked up on top of each other like the Van Oscar did and just Damn leave gosh. it at a fucking door. <laughs> 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 I really wanna do that. I wanna make some stupid ass videos with it. Um, <clears throat> you know Call of Duty player on rebirth? Watch. <laughs> That's what I wanna do. Well since bro. we're on topic of Call of Duty, <laughs> how do you guys feel about Nadia cheating? <laughs> quote unquote. We're back to cheating. We're back to cheating. <laughs> I don't I don't think she cheats, bro. Yeah. You guys know the story? I don't think she did. It's all over the social I, social. I've just seen her gameplay. How do you feel? I've only seen the ga gameplay of people saying like, "Oh, look at this gameplay." You know, I haven't actually watched her streams or whatever. So I've only seen people like calling her out on cheating. She was cheating. What's up? She let someone take over a PC and it showed her cheating programs. Really? Yeah, I've seen that clip. I want to see. I that haven't clip. seen that. All right. If you, if, I if, think I've seen that. I've seen her do horrendous in the Marvel for two. Uh, it yeah. says horrendous I saw on that. Always horrendous on that. Oh, there's another line, Harley. <laughs> you just type your name. <laughs> no, no, no. I, so I went to go pick up. A, went to go pick up my card because they're gonna run. And now this guy's line heart LL or one one X. Oh. I want to be his friend. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yo, I'm a line heart too, bro. So What's are up, you guys? Topic on more games coming out this year. Are you guys excited for the Pokemon games coming out? Scarlet, Violet, of course. Scarlet, yeah. Where is this game? Of course. Yeah. I'm thinking of getting you Scarlet. I'm, I'm getting both. I'm just, I'm getting both because I always get both. I don't want Violet. Um, how do you, Violet. How do you feel about it? Like the whole once a future, once the past type of feel. Cock and butt wiener. I like it. You like I it? I think that's a really cool. It's something different, you know, that they're doing. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. And, uh, it just makes it so that you have to work with other people to get all the Pokemon, you know? Nah, yeah, I should actually gotta, like, sit down and do it, yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't really care for the new, like, changing thing, though. Like, the crystallization, I don't know what it's called. Crystallization thingy. Where they can change mm -hmm. types or whatever. I'm not sure how it works. But I know it's something about changing their type. Cool. Awesome. But. Yeah, it, uh, it is confused what we're talking about. I'm not confused, but listen, <laughs> since it since it's October, right? Yeah, October, it's Halloween, right? For those who celebrate, if you don't celebrate it, get the fuck out of here. Um, yeah, everyone leave the chat now. <laughs> everybody, everybody leaves, scatters like ants or cockroaches, whatever you want to call them. Um, favorite Halloween movie? Ooh, that's a good topic. Right? Nightmare Before favorite Christmas. Favorite Halloween movie, that, and what oh. makes it your Oh, man. All right, we're gonna start with Raven since she spit out Hocus Pocus. Um, Raven, Hocus Pocus. That's what you said. What makes it one of your favorites, if not your favorite movie to watch? Does the vision light the candle? Version light the candle. You know, that's awesome. You know, bring back back to 1600s. Version lights the candle. 
That's that's incredible. Are you excited for number two? I haven't watched number two yet. I hear it's not as good as number one, so I haven't. No, like, but no, are it. you excited? Like, give me, give me that. Oh yeah! If you're excited to watch number two. <laughs> uh, yeah that's the whole oh, yeah bro she definitely went full out she can't scream because it's yeah, yeah. early she in the morning for her. Full out there. she definitely did bro. Yeah, deep down i felt, I felt that it. whole yeah all right so we're gonna move on to game freak alec um, oh, about me? favorite halloween movie halloween movie favorite halloween movie i mean it doesn't have to be your top favorite it doesn't have to be you know in your top five Spit out a Halloween movie that you enjoy to watch during the Halloween season. Hmm. I don't think they make I, a movie. I guess honestly, it would it would just be Halloween. Just Halloween. Halloween. All right, so I'm gonna once again be a pain in the ass, and so we're gonna go with Halloween. And there's several, several Halloweens. Are you talking about Michael Myers Halloween? Yes, Michael Myers Halloween. All right, so we're going to go back to the original 1978 Halloween. Or we could do the, the reboot. Rob Zombie Halloween, which was completely garbage in my opinion. Or we could do the one leading up to Halloween Ends, which was completely fucking garbage. I gave it so low expectations, it felt kind of better than I thought. <laughs> I gave it like I gave it super low expectations. <laughs> All right, so if you, if you had to rank the new Halloween that just came out this past Friday, what it's one to ten, bro? Give me give me a number. Give me Four. give me some numbers. Oh. Four. <laughs> that's is that a, that that's on a good note, right? I hope that's on a good mm. note. All right. A solid four. Solid four. And you know what? I'm going to have to agree with him. I wouldn't even rate it that high. I'd be like a two and a half. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, listen. Honestly, listen. Can place some unranked, please? For those Sorry, baby. who have not <laughs> seen it. Are you going? Is it, is I have to go pick up Mike and Rosh Michael Myers rom-com. So Michael so Myers rom-com. Michael. You don't yes. see I can't Michael believe you're taking him away from me. I'm sorry. Oh my god, no. I'm joking. It's you funny. don't see Michael Myers until the first hour and ten minutes yeah. in the new one. So it's 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 completely a rom com of it's, Corey it's, and it's, uh it's like, Allison. Yeah. Good luck with the of the podcast. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, drive safe. Don't drink and drive. Smoke and flat phone. <laughs> All, right. All right, Chris. Me We're gonna go on you. Bro, favorite Halloween movie. Michael already said it out loud. Michael already said it. Who is Michael? Raise your hand for Michael. He raised his hand. Uh, what's your favorite Halloween movie? Nightmare Before oh, Christmas. Yeah. Nightmare. Yeah. Before. Okay, I know it's yeah. considered a Christmas movie. It's considered I'm both a Halloween and a Christmas whole... movie. I like it. I like Tim Burton. I watch it. It is so. Good. I, I love it. I, I love Tim Burton. Yeah, I love Tim Burton movies. Agreed. Tim Burton's great. It's awesome. Uh... And Nightmare Before Christmas, it's just, I feel like it could be both. You know, you can watch a Christmas movie like or Halloween movie. It's technically both. Yeah, it's technically both. Because, like, absolutely. So it's like one of those movies, like, multi um, diverse in, in different scenarios of holidays, which is great. Exactly. I also like Corpse Bride. Corpse Bride was so good. Corpse Bride's, Corpse Bride's really good. So it's such a beautiful story. I love it. Like, just, Frank just, Wiener. just any Tim Burton Frank movie yes. I would watch during the Halloween season is definitely my. Have you guys season. ever seen Phantom at the Megaplex? I think no, s- n- no. It's an old school Disney I've, movie I've seen, back in '99. I've seen Phantom of the Opera. So no, we're not going. <laughs> not that old, bro. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I've been here for like 700 years. Oh but, yeah. You- you know, when you when you're an original, you don't say anything. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Phantom at the Megaplex was a Disney original movie back in ninety nine, two thousand. I think it was. It's a good movie, really, really good movie. What would you have rated out of ten? What would I rate it as ten? Yeah, being thirty one, I'd probably rate it a seven. Okay. I mean, not not it's not it's not like a horror, you know, type of uh-huh. deal, but it's more like a like I really enjoyed the movie growing up. Really, you know, looked forward to it coming online or not, but watching like on it TV. on television. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
So yeah, it was a, definitely a seven for sure. It's a good movie. It's seven, yeah. And I'm um, all things horror. Okay, if I'm if I'm gonna pick like a very scary Halloween movie though. Oh, so now we're going scary. Yeah, if we're gonna go full. Have you scary, seen Have you seen my feet pics? Yeah, I'm sadly subscribed <laughs> to your OnlyFans. No. Oh, damn, yeah. dude. What Anyways, was the rate though? The uh, fucking eleven. <laughs> all right um, thank you this ends another few minutes no i'm just kidding <laughs> no but for real no, like a, a very very like, scary horror movie that i would watch over and over would be the first conjuring that one really got me yo that that one was the very first conjuring got really, me really really good like and the fact that they're like linking to other scary movies as well is really it feels like it's just like a whole storyline going on really really good love it how about you, Lion? Uh, so, um, we're talking about the scariest? I mean, it's like a scary horror movie that you'd watch over and over for like that I Halloween watch. season, like whatever. Um, do we like talking jump scares or? No, it doesn't matter. Whatever you feel like feels scary to you. Um, it's really hard, actually. Damn. Really, really All right, hard. we'll come back to you. Um, no, I'm mean, not say it, but it, I, I mean, it, I'm just going to. Spitball it. Go for it. Um, Sinister. Ooh, that's the first a, one. That's a good one. I haven't seen Sinister, that in a the while. First one was, was really good. That's a good. Um, movie. a lot of a lot of jump scares. Mm-hmm. Like, if you're watching it you, for your first time, it's definitely uh, jump scare central. So, it's a good movie though. Definitely. How about you? you know, hold on to your seats. Raven. What? What what what's your favorite scariest horror movie that you would watch? It's not re- the movie that scared me the most. Like any movie has was not a horror movie. It was Signs. Ooh, Signs is a good movie though. It, it freaked me out it's as a kid. Such a good movie. It, yeah, I've the seen possibility it. of being ab- abducted freaked me out. Or like the possibility of like them actually just in your backyard. Yeah. That is, yeah. It's, yeah. It's a good movie. Definitely would watch it over and over again, too. How about you, Mike? Michael? Um, Myers. Like, I don't really watch Halloween, uh, scary movies. I mean, I, I'll watch them, but, like, they never really stick with me. So I can't. Uh... Okay, so don't think about it as, like, a Halloween movie. Think about it as, like, what scariest horror movie would you watch <laughs> that you enjoy the most? <laughs> If you watch them. Um, or. Yeah. Do you want me to play the Jeopardy sound? Do, do, do. <laughs> I really, I really don't know. You don't know? That's all good. I really don't. Damn. Yeah, I really don't. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> Nothing comes to my mind. It's all so good. favorite favorite thing, favorite thing about the Halloween season favorite thing about fall against spice what? What? I'm sorry. what was it say it louder for the kids in the back yeah say pumpkin louder spice. pumpkin spice okay basic white bitch i love it um <laughs> this is our last topic and we can end the podcast by the way that's fine um so all right since it's the last topic we're all video gamers here for those who don't play video games, you're missing out and you suck. We haven't even finished the um, freaking favorite fall thing. Yeah, that's fine. I'm we're jumping we're jumping, jumping subjects to, here. Oh, okay. Um coming from your executive. <laughs> if you were to have your dream setup, Ooh. what would it consist of? Starting with Raspberry. Dream setup? Your dream setup. My dream setup. It doesn't matter if you're in a basement, if you're in your mom's house, if you're with your girlfriend. If you had a dream setup, what would it consist of? Okay. This seems a little excessive for me, but I, I want to have four monitors. Right? Right. Ugh, right. I, want, I want one of the newer graphics cards, obviously, and a computer that can run it. You know? Yeah, bro. It's your dream mm-hmm. setup, bro. Anything um, you want. And then I want to have like a mouse pad with my logo on it that has okay. you know some RGB. But right now my store is a little plug-in. My store has some 
some Raspberry King mouse pads you can get, like those large ones. That's my little logo. On Yo, a, what about yeah. a fanny pack, bro? Bro, a fanny pack? I got one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But um, okay. I also want like a pe- like consoles with my setup. I want like an Xbox, gotcha. the newest gotcha. one. I want the PS5. I want my Switch, and then I want like the old school ones too, where I can just plug it in. That's cool, man. Like like sure. sixty four, you know. <laughs> yes. Dude, that's so. Oh, like that's, just that's just pretty just dope. a bunch of old consoles that I can like play while I'm just vibing on my setup. It's like a like a retro station type of thing. Yeah, that's where I'm gonna use hey, one of my four monitors, obviously dope. for like. It's not just gonna be like just a regular PC monitor. It'll be like one of those Super smaller dope. TVs you can plug them into and just. Yeah, that's what I want. And then yeah. I want my RGB lights, my LED lights, just around the room so I can fit the mood and feel for it. No, for sure, for sure. Yeah, nothing too, too All crazy, right. but I think the most craziest part is having four four to five monitors. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. But because I stream and make content and stuff, I, I also want to get like some music equipment. So I can start so like some finish. some like DJ equipment. Not 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 DJ equipment. There's this thing called Akai, <laughs> and it's like a it's like a soundboard, but it has like keys, and then also has like these buttons that you can put like beats and stuff into gotcha. and make music. Gotcha. Produce my own music, basically. That's be, dope, dope. That's what I want. I want to get that going. I'm halfway there. <laughs> so that's my dream setup. Raven, what about you? What's your dream setup? Uh, Pink. Uh, I like. I kind of like the cottage core setups that I've been seeing lately. Like you know, like the green and the plants. And... Ooh, yeah, those are clean. I see them on TikTok those are, a lot. Those are really nice, actually. Those are super nice. It's simple, but nice. I, I like pink, but I also like nature. So I, I don't know. Those no, are, I for sure. Those like are it. so cool. simple. But also so I feel like clean. Sim- simplicity like really really speaks to like the person behind the simplicity part. Yeah, <laughs> bro. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, for sure. My like, desk has not enough room, so everything's so cluttered, and I'm like, I, I kind of want to like, if I'm gonna do something new, I want more space. Definitely. Yeah, I get that. Right. I also want loads of squishmallows, so I, you know, I, <laughs> I could flicker. <laughs> now, how about you, oh, Mikael? No. Um, I definitely want, I don't know if you guys have seen them, but when people turn their desks or their PCs into their desk, mm. I've, I've seen a couple. couple I would really oh, like to do that. Yeah, that's sick. Damn. But also have it, um, in the mineral oil, like where it's just all submerged in mineral oil. Okay. I've seen those. Yeah, I would totally do that, but I would need space because I like to use my desk as like a workstation for just stuff that I do. You know, yeah. so I'd probably have either like an L-shaped desk or just something with a lot of space, either just like a big desk or an L-shaped so that I can have a se- separate section to like work on things. Mm-hmm. Um, probably three monitors, three to four monitors. I'm not sure yet three to four monitors i i like the idea of being able to just have everything in front of me at once so that i can see everything that i want to do or work on um i like i mean a keyboard and mouse you know i i really like ducky brand keyboards i want to get one they're really nice oh yeah duckies are nice i love i I definitely i'm gonna get one yeah the clicks are really nice they're so uh... I haven't, I mean, Corsair, I have a Corsair mouse now. What I really like, I enjoy it. I think it's great. I don't know if I'd ever change it for anything else. I, I'd still have to, like, experiment. You know, that's the only thing is, like, experiment. finding a dream setup is, like, you have to test no, it's really everything, yeah. you that's, know? That's why I didn't include, like, my keyboards or mouse into it, because I'm obviously going to change them here and there. So, like, I didn't bother including it into my setup. Yeah. And it's so hard, because, like, you know, down the road, like, you know, five, six, seven, whatever years go by. Obviously, you're going to get bored of what you're doing and and how your setup is. So you're going to always want to maximize it to your potential and maximize it to where it feels good to you to game. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah. So it's it's really hard. Like, this question is is really, really hard because 
at this time, like everybody's saying, like, you know, you want a green thumb type of, of setup where you're going to have flowers and, 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 you know, plants, which is completely awesome. I would do the same thing. I would love nothing but like a greenery around, you know, my setup. But, you know, down the road, you're going to get tired of, of being in a position where you're seeing the same thing, you're doing the same thing. So you're always going to want to build. And you're always gonna want to. You're you're always gonna want something different, regardless if it's four monitors, you know, ten monitors, you know, plants here, plants there. Um, and the idea of it is to really build your own space where you can be comfortable in your own skin and and trying to evolve yourself into having a good time, basically. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. So. So that's awesome, though. I mean, everybody's idea here is super, super awesome with, you know, monitors and and greenery and all this other stuff. Like, it, it really brings a passion to your eye, being all gamers here, to just how to evolve your space into being essentially your space and how... You get a like, chair that doesn't kill me. Get a chair that doesn't go <laughs> raven. Oh, that's a good which, one. That's a good which, one. You know, yeah. if she leans forward, you know, the chair could literally slice her in half. But you know, it's it's, it's an evolving process, and it's never going to be complete until you're complete on, you know, what you're doing and what aspects you're doing in the gaming industry. Not even gaming industry, but whatever you're doing, whatever makes you feel happy, is what you should do. And you know, a lot of answers here you know between the three of you is is beautiful and i feel like you know it's an it, it's an evolving space that you could do literally endless customization to your gaming setup that that makes you literally who you are mm-hmm. 100 that's all i got to say lionheart out all right thank you guys so much for listening to the podcast this is premeditated and we are signing off See you guys next week. Lions Bye. Fans.